From KETK, you're watching East Texas Live. Welcome back to East Texas Live. If you love big rigs and fast cars, we have something for you. The Texas Diesel Nationals is coming to East Texas this weekend. Randy, the president of the National Hot Rod Diesel Association, is here in the studio to tell us about their upcoming events. Thank you so much for being here today. David, thanks for having us. Yes, sir. First, can you just tell me a little bit about your association? Uh, well, the NHRD was actually founded back in 2001. Um, it's a quick little story, so I'll shorten it down. So we were out in Seattle at a diesel performance shop. We started going to the track back then and actually racing the trucks and there was this place called the diesel hot rod association on the east coast so we were excited and invited them out there and they acted like they were going to take it over so my shop called randy's off road a few adult beverages might have been in there but we came up with the nhrda and we said the national hot rod diesel association is going to sponsor the event and that's how it started and from there we've grown to over 5,000 members over the last 20 years so yes yeah if it's diesel powered we have it yes <laughs> so you know i hear y'all have an event in love you know may 18th can you tell me yes. a little bit about that uh we do so it's our first time so we've been up at ns at the texas motorplex for the last 15 years um a lot of people were coming up from nacogdoches from Lovkin, from Houston. Uh, so we found out Pine Valley Raceway. Honestly, didn't even know it was on the map. So this is our debut at Pine Valley Raceway. Uh, on May 18th, it's gonna be a great event. We've got drag racing, dyno competitions, the burnout contest is a favorite. All the crowd loves the burnout contest. We've got food vendors, diesel vendors. I mean, it's a great family event. Yes, sir. Just how excited are you, you know, to have something like this here in East Texas? Uh, we're very excited. Um, we came and dropped off our stuff. We were in Arizona last month. We dropped off our stuff. My friend has a place on Toledo Bend. Um, went out there, did some trout lining, did some stuff I've never done and realized there are trucks everywhere in East Texas. I mean, I know Texas has trucks, but East Texas, it's like, I swear, four out of five vehicles I saw were a pickup going down the road. So we're very excited about this event. Yes, sir. So, you know, can you just tell us a little about the different classes y'all have in the races? <clears throat> we do. Um, so semi trucks, I'll start off with that. We have hot rod semis. So these are semi trucks that are purpose built trucks. They've got roll bars in them. Uh, matter of fact, Mario Monette from Edmonton, Alberta, all the way down from Edmonton, Alberta, you're going to see the world record holder. He goes 11 seconds in the quarter mile in a 12,000 pound semi truck. He has 2,000 horsepower of nitrous system bolted onto the back of this thing. It's amazing. That's crazy. Um, we've got big rig brackets. Those are your street driven trucks. So when you see a guy hauling hay down the road or logs, he's going to unbolt that 80,000 pound load and go out and race his truck. Uh, we've got pickup trucks. We've got several categories of pickup trucks. The coolest thing right now, I got to say, is it's called Pro Mod Diesel anything you want. Uh, we've got a 1957 Chevy showing up. That's uh, Chase Wells, the one-way diesel crew. They've got a, a show here in Texas. It's called uh, Texas Metal Loud and Lifted. They're bringing that. There's a 63 Corvette coming out of Dallas. Um, that's got a 3,000 horsepower vehicle in it. So uh, you will see the weirdest, wildest stuff ever. A 1971 Chevelle is coming all the way from California. He pulls his wheels two feet out in the air and he's got a Duramax in it. So it's, you'll see it. If it's diesel powered, you're gonna see it. Yes, sir. So can anybody just enter and race? Yeah, anybody. If it's diesel powered, uh, as a matter of fact, there's a lot of racers at Pine Valley Raceway that have been emailing me. I said, hey, you've got a diesel truck that tows your race car unhook your pickup truck and come race. So if it's diesel powered, you guys can come out. We have over $30,000 in prize money up for this weekend. Yes, sir. Just how fast are some of these cars going? Um, well, the, we have actually gone so fast that NHRA does not allow our pickup classes. We used to race quarter mile. Well, they broke into the sevens going over 180 miles an hour and at weighing 5,000 pounds, NHRA is like, no, you guys no longer are racing quarter mile. So we're in the eighth mile now, but our fastest vehicles in eighth mile will go four seconds at 140 miles an hour. Yes, sir. And so, when and where is that going to be at? It, again, it's at Pine Valley Raceway down in Lufkin. I don't know the actual address. Uh, it's right outside of Lufkin on a, some farm road. Everything's a farm road. I'm from Seattle. So when I saw FM, I go, that's a radio station. That's not a road, <laughs> right? Uh, but the gates open at 8 a.m. Uh, competition starts around 10 o'clock and it's going to go probably till 6 or 7 o'clock. It just all depends. For social media guys' weather down here, man, it's yeah. bipolar down here. Yes. It's sunshine in one second and rain in the next. I mean, in Seattle, if it rains, it's for three weeks straight, right? But down here, it's just like, look at your watch and, oh, it's not raining. Let's race. Yes, sir. Well, thank you so much for coming in and telling yeah. us all about that. Yeah. Yep. So for more information and tickets, you can go to the website right here on your screen.